Hey, it's Kathy from Fit Kitty Tries, and today I'm going to show you how to create this negative space around a design. So somebody in one of the Facebook groups I'm part of posted asking, how do I create this negative space, essentially this transparent outline around the letters so that there is a gap between your letters and then your design elements. Um, so I love sharing how I've figured out how to do things with zero design experience. I used to use paint to do all these silly tricks, but we're going to be using Canva and Photopea today, which are both free um, tools that you can use right in your internet browser. You don't need to download anything and they are free to use. I'll be using the free versions, but you can also get the paid version of Canva, which I highly recommend if you're using for print on demand. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get more tips and tricks like this. And then if there's a video or something you want to learn how to do, definitely leave a comment below or send me a message. I love making these videos to show you the little hacks that I have um, figured out how to do. All right, to the video. So you can just go to canva.com and sign up for a free account. We're going to create a design here. Um, I like to work with 4,000 by 4,000 when I'm um, creating designs for print on demand so that when I download them, they are a nice um, size. So let's go ahead and start by recreating the design. There was a star. Again, we're using free um, Canva elements, but I would highly recommend getting the pro version. I use it for so many things, social media, um, for like my other business, but also print on demand. All right, we've got the star, we're gonna add some text. So again, basically how we're achieving this is we are going to add an outline to the text, and then we're going to make the outline transparent using photo piece. So let's go ahead and type in my tummy hurts. Go ahead and change that font as well. Nice. And then we're going to just get rid of the line spacing so it's not so spread out. Perfect. And then we've got that there placed right over top of the star. Centered. Might slide that star up a little, just looks a little better. Actually, it's okay. Centered. All right. So now this is the part that matters. We're going to go to effects and we're going to choose the outline effect. You can choose how thick or thin you want the outline to be. But um, actually before that, we're actually going to change the background to the color of the shirt that we had in mind. Let's just go with pink so that when we choose the effect color, we can really see what it's going to look like there. So you can decide how thick or thin you want that kind of negative space to be. Um, something in the middle, it looks pretty good there. Perfect, so that's basically it. And then we're gonna go ahead and change some of the colors on these. I'll fast forward through that, but what I like to do when I'm not sure what colors to pair together, I just type in a color and use one of Canva's preset color palettes. Okay, and so there it is. We wanna make our design as big as possible so that when we download it, it's nice and big. And click the share button here and go to download. I'm using the free version, so I can't change the size or make the background transparent, but honestly, it's better if the background isn't transparent for this effect. Go ahead and download that. And then the next thing we're going to do is go to photo piece. You can just type in photopea.com. You don't need an account for this. It's free to use. It's basically a free version from of um, Photoshop. We're going to open up that file Perfect, so this is what it looks like opened. And this is super easy. We're gonna use the magic wand tool. I'm sure there's a similar tool in Photoshop or any other um, editor that you might be using, but this one's free. And the magic wand basically just helps select shapes. So basically by clicking on the pink here, I've selected all of the stuff that is pink and we're just gonna hit delete. Perfect. Now we've got a transparent background. We do still have some of the pink going on, so we're still using that magic select tool that's really good for selecting outlines. Oops, I select the in the inline. <laughs> okay, there we go. And again, we can hit delete. It's just gonna remove that, and then we'll just remove that other pink spot there. 
perfect. You can zoom in as well to check out and make sure you haven't missed any spots, but that's basically how it looks. And then from there, export it as a PNG so that the background is transparent. You can even upsize it here when you export, like change the size if you'd like in pixels in case you needed to upscale your design. And then if you're using a um, print on demand provider like Printify, I'll show you what we can do there. So Printify is free to use and get started with. You can just create an account here and start customizing products for a print on demand store. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to put this on a sweatshirt and what it's going to look like. We're going to go to sweatshirts here. We're going to just pick the Gildan. You can choose Printify choice, but as you can see, the color pink is not available. So I'm just going to look at additional providers. Um, I'm actually in Canada, so this would be fine. Perfect. And then we're going to upload that file I just saved from Photopea. Great. And as you can see, even on this um, white sweatshirt, it's, it's showing the background color as white and now it's showing it as sand and now it's showing it as pink. So again, it's that transparent outline. There it is. And then again, you can check out the preview as well in Printify. Printify is really awesome. It's got really competitive prices. It has so many suppliers, which is one thing I love about Printify is it's not just a um, print on demand supplier. It's sort of more of a platform that again, you can use different printers. So if we just go to the most popular t-shirt here, it shows Printify's choice, which you can choose. Um, or you can actually choose a specific provider. So if you know that your customers are mostly in the States, you're going to want to choose one in the States. Um, you can also see that different pr print providers have a different selection available of colors. So you can choose that. It also shows their prices, their shipping time and all of that. And I do not regret working with um, Printify to use different print providers as opposed to going with a print on demand provider that is um, just like one company and does all the printing and stuff. Having a marketplace like this not only keeps the prices competitive, but it also means that if your um, print on demand supplier is out of something, you can actually switch suppliers. Or if you have an order from Canada, you can choose a Canadian one. I've used um, Printify um, from all over the world, honestly, and it just really speeds up shipping time. Often it also saves you shipping time because you'll notice that for a um, American company, the shipping cost to Canada is going to be quite a bit more expensive. It's showing $18 <laughs> as opposed to if we were to go with a Canadian print provider, it is showing um, for shipping $9. Um, it's all priced out in US dollars. They do actually accept Canadian dollars now um, for billing, but if you are a Etsy print on demand seller who is Canadian like myself, but does a lot of their purchasing in US dollars, I have a really cool spreadsheet that helps you calculate um, all of that. And then I also have a really cool spreadsheet that helps you factor in um, shipping and prices. So it's pretty common when you're an online seller to factor in some of the shipping cost into the price so that buyers aren't having to pay like $18 in shipping because that really just turns them off. So I have a very cool sheet where basically what you can do is say you want to offer free shipping in the US and it costs $7. So you're going to add $7 to your product price, right? In order to pay for that shipping. What happens when you have a Canadian customer, you're not offering free shipping, but you've already um, added $7 to the price, then what do you do? And then, I mean, what I do basically is I subtract $7 from how much it's actually going to cost me to ship to Canada. But basically I have a spreadsheet um, that helps you calculate that. So you don't actually have to calculate it every single time um, for every single shipping zone that you want to offer. So I will put those in the links below. Um, I've also got videos explaining those spreadsheets. Um, and I would love if you purchase one of those from Etsy, because right now I've got a four star review as my only review. Maybe it was three stars. I'm not sure why, <laughs> um, because I totally go over my spreadsheets on my YouTube. So I would love your support to grab one of those spreadsheets. But what you can do for free to support me is to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, or 
hit that um, like or thumbs up button to let me know you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out and that this video was helpful or valuable to you. I'm also going to turn it into a blog post as well. Um, so that'll be linked pretty soon. All right. Thanks, kittens. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next video.